next he, me, obviously, who likes cocktails, also me, less obviously. So, New Year's coming, I'm going to try and make some tea cocktails. So the first one I'm going to try is an Earl Grey infused gin. I found some couple recipes online and um, this one I like the sound of. I like gin and I also like Earl Grey. So I have my trusty notebook with my instructions on them. So to start with, I'm going to need to put some ice cubes. Then I need, so 1.5, so 4 centilitres of simple syrup. We'll put a bit extra in just that. Then I need the same amount of lemon juice. So that's, I've used 4 centilitres of simple syrup and 4 centilitres of lemon juice. Now I need double the amount of Earl Grey infused gin, which I have pre-made. I don't know if that's going to, it just looks like Earl Grey with a hint of gin. Ooh. I, um, I had a small, if I can find it, I had this small, um, small bottle of Plymouth gin and I infused it with about a heaped teaspoon of Earl Grey and I used the um, Simply Special Earl Grey, covered it and left it at room temperature for about two and a bit hours. Then I came back, I thought it was a bit strong and also I didn't think I had enough with just that little bottle so I topped it up with a bit of um, another gin. So I had a sacrilege of having mixed gins, however because it's not a, it's not the gin on its own, I'm hoping it's not going to matter too much. So I want double the amount of that, which hopefully that will be just enough. I'm going to top up with a little bit more gin, because who doesn't love a little bit more gin? In there. Then I'm going to give it a shake. to get out though. Smells a little grey and ginny and I'm just going to pour it all in there and then top up so it looks a little bit actually of orange juice or orange squash and then it also says to garnish with some rose buds. So there we go. Earl Grey infused gin. Let's try it. Actually, quite nice. It's Earl Grey and gin, but you have the link between the gin and the lemon from like a gin and tonic if you're having slices of lemon in it but then the lemon and the Earl Grey goes together that's that's actually really nice I like that that's actually really good I like that sorry I'm sounding surprised I haven't actually tried any of these recipes before this is the first time that I'm making and trying them, so <laughs> this is new to me. So, next cocktail is a green tea and peach bellini. Now, I, so I've got some green tea just um, infusing here, and in the recipe it says muddle the peaches, and it really should be white peaches, but I couldn't find any white peaches. So, but... <laughs> So I've got normal peaches and I don't have a muddler so I just pulped them so it's sort of um, peach 
mush but it'll work it'll work so I've got a couple of ice cubes in the mixer here and it says one part muddled peach so we'll just the equivalent of the um, larger I think this is a jigger I think I think I've learned that off QI um, but I'll put the equivalent of four-ish is that four-ish we'll put another one in um, teaspoons then we want one part gin so one part gin and then two parts Prosecco let me open this one is this a Oh. oh, well, that's a bit of a spoiler. I was waiting for the pop. <laughs> um, two parts of Prosecco. Probably not how you meant to do it. I'm probably, like, butchering this recipe, but... That's that mixed. Oh, oh goodness. No, that, that's just that mixed. So I'm now going to add in two parts green tea. Now I probably shouldn't have done this boiling. I should have let it cool down. But hey ho, learnt for next time. Actually, no, I need that one. I don't want the ice cubes out. And then it says, it says to put, it says to put green tea lemonade, which we don't have, or I can find. So I've just got, ooh, so I've just got cloudy lemonade, but I want to just try it. Oh, that's tart. Mmm. Can't really get the green tea. Mm. Oh, that's that's tart. That is. Let's try it with the lemonade now. That's better. That's nice. Again, not really. Can't get the green tea so much. But I might go let that cool down a bit, and I might top up with that in a bit. So yeah, that's quite a nice one as well. Pleased with that. Just still a bit tart. But let's put a peach on to garnish. And chin chin. That's nice. So the final cocktail I'm going to make is a chai tea cocktail, which essentially is just... Um, chai tea infused in almond milk with it says maple whiskey i don't know what that is to be honest i wasn't going to buy a whole bottle of maple whiskey so i got told that bourbon should be okay so that's what i'm working with i'm probably gonna get told off for this but this is still quite warm so i'm gonna see how this goes i'm hoping that won't be too much that so all we need is One half ounce of that. I'm just going to put a little bit less than that because I'm doing in a slightly smaller glass. We'll do it at that. So that was probably about three, um, three centilitres. And then I'm just going to top up with. So, topped with a little nutmeg, and if I can get it out, we'll put half a cinnamon stick in it, and that's probably the easiest one, but ooh, that's whiskey-y, 
but again, not too bad. Nice flavouring from the chai. It's quite Christmassy flavour. It's nice, it's warm. That's that's quite a nice one as well. It's nice that the other two are cold and this one's warm, which gives it a bit of a um, something different. It's sort of almost like a hot toddy, mulled wine kind of one. Um, but it's really nice and it's nice with the sweetness of the almond milk. But the spices come through. That's a good one as well. If you like whiskey, I think that could be a really nice one. I think I might have to top it up with a bit more um, of the milk, but that's a good one too. So yeah, pleased with that one. So that's my three New Year's Eve cocktails. I hope there's been a bit of inspiration for um, you to try. I have to say I'm quite pleased that I managed to make all three that I wasn't um, completely disappointed with. I have to say, I'm, I'm quite impressed with them and um, they're all a little bit different but what I'm most surprised about actually is how easy they were to make. I didn't practice, didn't really prep apart from looking up the ingredients, um, getting a bit of an idea of what I needed to do and making sure I had everything. Um, so actually I'm quite impressed with them and I'm not going to drink them all in succession now. I, um, I'm going to pick one and drink that. I'm inclined to say I might be drinking the whiskey and chai tea one this evening because I'm not actually feeling very well. So a bit of a hot toddy would be quite nice. But I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas, has a wonderful New Year's, and I will see you all in 2017 with lots of new tea videos. See you later. Bye.